Oh, well, welcome back, my gardening friends. I'm just getting the last of the snowdrops up. Uh, it's not exactly the right time to do these at the moment. We should be waiting for the foliage to die back a bit more. Um, and it should be around about uh, May, June time, or depending on uh, where you live. But if I let these die back, I'll never get everyone out. Uh, these were kindly gifted to me by Nick at Nick's allotment. And this is one bulb uh, a few years ago. And uh, you might be able to see there, there's uh, loads and loads. And even the baby ones, they'll take a long time to uh, actually produce a flower. But getting them out now will help me because if I do have a mad moment and decide to do something with this I don't know, at least it's uh, all done and dusted and I haven't got to worry too much and no doubt I'll have missed some but you've uh, definitely got to get as much out of your ground as you can um, if you let the flowers bulb they'll now throw scatter the seeds about and I found one or two in different areas but for me it's the right time at the moment for you you need to let them die back but then you've got to try and find the damn things so uh, that's another job uh, for April uh, out of the way Let's get to the exciting bit, the world famous flutter to draw. They can stay there for now. So I've got one of these to uh, raffle off and uh, we'll have a little look at the people who quickly sent me a Gmail uh, the, uh, in the last uh, the two hours after the previous video, which will be on the end screen. Uh, we've not included number 13 so there we are I'll get all these uh, cut up so there's all the names I'm glad it's not as windy as uh, what it was uh, <coughs> yesterday uh, the plots looking in a mess uh, everything's everywhere more damage but it was uh, out of the blue so I'm gonna give these a little shuffle up oh gosh look I've got a strawberry already <laughs> hope Mrs King don't find out that I've pinched one of her strawberries but uh, we'll just do the flutter draw so we'll just drop these and of course it's going to be the nearest one to the strawberry and of course as always as I mix these up I've got them all in my hand now careful not to drop any uh, we won't be rec uh, switching off now uh, I'll have to lift you off the tripod but uh, it'll be the closest to the strawberry so we're going to go up in the air and flutter 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 oh this could be very close very close we may have to have a, a reflutter between these two i'm going to measure it actually i'm hoping the wind don't blow hang on there hope it didn't move so, that one to there, oh yes, the miles away, that's the one, and uh, I might as well lift it up and show you, and uh, I'm going to see whether I can actually, where's my camera lens, oh dear, it's uh, Paul, number 14 I think you can see 14 there so Paul well done I'll be posting that off to you um, very shortly the wind held back let's just snap this strawberry off oh it won't come off oh there it goes excuse me not as good as your home ones shop bought are always that little bit tasteless but bargain that one tasted okay 
for those that uh, didn't watch, uh, we uh, we opened this tub up. We found loads of little vine weevil grubs, so we presume they're there and definitely in that one. We haven't touched that one other than pulling a few weeds out. We've treated these two round containers and not that one. These are the shop-bought strawberries that we sliced the skins. So all these here were the ones we sliced the skin. So I really wanted to make them uh, save them, but uh, we'll see how these do. And it looks like there's a, a strawberry uh, forming there. So we'll see. Uh, obviously, it looks the best out of all of them at the moment, but we'll see if these pick up. Uh, if we can get rid of that grub and the roots can uh, attempt to grow. The vine weevil just eats and eats at the roots and then eventually kills the plant. I planted the tulips in amongst these. I don't know whether, that was a whether that's going to be a bad idea or not, but strawberries do like a little bit of shade. They might end up with a, a lot of shade, but these are growing quite nicely now. But it'll be interesting to see We've done all the beds up to here and then we haven't done this bed so uh, it'll be a good comparison uh, to see how they do in the future and uh, yes we probably will have to retreat the beds again but when i do retreat them uh, i'll ensure i don't uh, do the ones that uh, we've left uh, alone happy gardening to you all till next time my friends for half an hour and Paul, just give me an email, mate, and uh, your address, and we'll get those posted off to you. Uh, first post on uh, the first uh, on the Monday.